cute, aren't they? Very. Viewers in the southwest can see more about the journey of the red squirrels on Inside Out. That's on BBC One tomorrow evening at 7.30. If you're in other parts of the UK, you can watch it on the iPlayer. It's just approaching five to seven. For most of us, climbing up 38 floors would be enough to leave us a little short of breath. It's a fraction of that number for me. So imagine trying to do it with an antique diving suit on, which weighs 10 stone. Don't have to imagine it if you're Lloyd Scott. He did it yesterday. He scaled the heights of the Gherkin skyscraper in London. It's not his first heavyweight charity event. <laughs> you may remember him running the London Marathon. Well, kind of walking the London yes, Marathon. Slowly. Hobbling away um, in that <laughs> suit. Well, Lloyd is here now to tell us why he suit. puts him through, <laughs> himself through it all. You could have just carried me uh, to do the marathon or up and down the Gherkin and it would have weighed less than that suit. Yeah, and be more comfortable, I think. Probably. So, yeah. I mean, we saw, when you came in the studio, it was just... You, it's, there's so much effort involved, just in even just lifting those boots. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is where the weight is distributed. It's, like, very top-heavy, very bottom-heavy. Can you lift, lift your left leg? Oh, they've cut off it now. Just lift your <laughs> left leg. And that's not, you're not making that up. No, it really not, is no, hard not. to lift. Okay. They're legs. They've got legs. They're what? The Twenty-five pounds. Couple of stone yeah, each. Yeah, each yeah. boot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We need to ask you, why? Um, lots of um, lots of charity work previously, uh, and uh, yesterday was the British Heart Foundation. But the main reason behind it was uh, to launch something called Britain's Personal Best, which is a scheme uh, really based on the Olympic legacy and all the excitement that we had from London 2012 and the Olympics and the Paralympics. And it's really to carry on that energy and enthusiasm that the whole nation uh, got. And it's to encourage uh, people to, to undertake a challenge or, or a, a task that they've always perhaps wanted to do. It doesn't have to be as extreme as, as, as what I've done. I mean, if you couldn't run and you wanted to run one kilometre, that would be enough, but it could be to, uh, to bake a cake or to learn how to dance or to, you know, to sing a song. It could be absolutely anything. It's just really um, a scheme to get the, uh, the nation uh, going. So here's you getting ready to go up the Gherkin, I think, yesterday. Right. You did it for the British Heart Foundation. I bet it gave your heart a good work. Uh, <laughs> it did, actually. I mean, I was desperate for the... Um, oh, you finished here, for the, you? No, uh, oh, that's no, floor that's 20. 20. Oh, right. um, the main thing was there wasn't much air, actually, in the, um, no. in the stairwell. Right. Uh, and the only air that I was kind of breathing was the hot air that was coming out the top of the suit. And um, so, as well as being physically difficult, trying to suck in enough air to keep going was, uh, was quite tough. Did you ever get to a point where you thought you wouldn't make it? Uh, not really, but every time I, I went up... This view it, was it worth got, it, wasn't it? It was worth it, yeah, it was fantastic. But every time I went up, each stop was... Uh, it got harder and progressively harder and harder. So you, you mentioned other people challenging themselves to do something unusual, something yep. they'd never thought of doing, perhaps. How on earth did you initially get the idea? That's you on the, on the picture there in the London Marathon. How did you get the idea to get a, an old-fashioned antique diving suit that weighs 10 stone and start doing things in it? Um, it goes back to, to London Marathon and I saw the rhinos and uh, I just thought, uh, kind of, what's the worst costume you could actually put on and to, uh, to undertake these uh, these sort of things and um, I suppose you know 10 11 years on I'm, I'm still regretting it I said it took you five days uh, it? it took me yeah it's in this be six day yeah, to, to, to finish you it. and you do hold the record for the slowest marathon yeah uh, world's yeah. slowest marathon the, but uh, I mean obviously for a good a good cause what <laughs> is next What's next? I mean, haven't you just had enough? Uh, I, I, next year is 25 years since my bone marrow transplant, so I would really love to do something um, to, to really bow out. Um, I've, I've kind of thinking time. Bow out in a nice way. In a nice way, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, I've got replacement hips and knees and things now, so. Um, <laughs> That's not healthy. <laughs> but you're well now. My, are my you? other half and family aren't going to have. I'd love to climb Kilimanjaro. In a diving really? suit. In a diving suit. suit. Yeah. May I really? try this? May yeah, I try this absolutely. on? Absolutely. Oh, no, this is a first. Oh, my good God. You'll be a YouTube hit. Put it on. <laughs> right, you know, if, if it gets stuck, you will take it off. Come on, yeah? can you manage it? Oh, my gosh. I, if I drop it, it'll hurt you. Okay, no, no. No, you can drop it. That's Are you fine. Sure? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> Roger, come on. Take no, it leave it on. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I think you look good. I'll take it off. <laughs> Gosh, that's so, it, that it's so heavy. heavy. Yeah. It's so impressive. So, and, um, oh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Well, yeah. I'll drop it on your but, uh, um, And as you mentioned your bone marrow transplant. You had leukaemia. Is this where it all, once you'd come out of the, the and recovered, and 
gone into remission. Is that when you sort of started to think, right, I need to start doing things to raise money? Yeah, I've always kind of had that, that kind of, of, uh, of um, uh, charity side to me. Um, and what was interesting uh, yesterday was my bone marrow donor, mm. uh, Andrew Burgess, was actually there to see me off at the start. So mm. that, that was ever so, ever so special. Lloyd, you are an inspiration to everyone out there. All I would say well is if anyone's done. thinking of doing it, go, go and see the website, whatsyours.org, okay. and they can register their personal best challenge and, um, you know, uh, just keep all that momentum going. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, we're going to give you some time to get out of the studio. It will take some time. <laughs> Lord, well done. Thanks coming so back much. Later, okay, coming yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowly. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much. Still to come on Breakfast, the battle of the games consoles has been raging since the 1980s. Now, though, in